At this sophisticated lab in Barcelona, researchers are convinced that computer models based on virtual reality can help people who have suffered strokes by providing them with better rehabilitation techniques. What you're about to see in this report is that this claim is not just science fiction. Right after giving birth to her second child, Gloria was fighting for her life. A stroke almost completely paralyzed her. She could barely speak. For months, she engaged in a rehabilitation program that included playing with a brand new virtual reality game. An experimental rehabilitation approach for stroke patients is being tested at this hospital in Barcelona. Was this rehabilitation useful to you? Yes. It was really motivating because I learned new things. I was able to greatly improve the movement of my arms in a very subconscious, natural way. The virtual reality game was developed as a tool to complement classic rehabilitation techniques for stroke sufferers. The goal is to teach the brain to control the body movements again, especially the upper extremities. We think this technology can be really useful for patients who finished hospital rehabilitation and are back home. They often think rehabilitation is over. Their brains don't use the sides that have been affected by the stroke. This tool has proven really effective in forcing the brain to really use the side that was damaged during the stroke. The game was developed at this university not far from the hospital. A team of computer scientists, psychologists and bioscientists from a European research project created the system from a basic starting point. Plasticity of the brain remains throughout life, so it can be used to achieve a functional reorganization of the brain areas affected by strokes. Our theory tells us that the brain is an active learning machine that continuously builds models of the world. Maybe we have to think about providing the brain with new forms of stimulation, new forms of goal-oriented training to make that brain believe it can perform certain tasks. And that's exactly what we do via virtual reality. The system optimizes the user's training by analyzing the patient's performances. And these virtual reality models can have further applications far beyond rehabilitation. In which other ways can computer models like these ones be useful for doctors to provide better treatments to their stroke patients? This is, for instance, the brain region that has been affected by a stroke. We can virtually assess how the brain activity in those affected regions are going to change. We can sort of visualize how the patient's motor and cognitive functions will be affected. And this can greatly help us to provide better diagnostics. Virtual reality can indeed help stroke patients in recovering the control of their upper extremities, researchers say. Now they aim at using the same tools to improve other brain functions that are often also affected by strokes. Alterations in language, swallowing problems, equilibrium disorders, neuropsychological problems, attentional disorders. We could also address these issues with tools like this. Strokes not only affect the patient's physical strength and psychomotor activity, we could also address those issues with virtual reality tools like the one we've developed. After successful validation tests, first units of the virtual reality tool are about to be installed in clinics all over Europe. <laughs>